Hello friends and welcome to this video on Authentic English and in this video we are going to talk about ways in which you can write better answers in your exams. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please hit the subscribe button and also click the bell icon next to it so that you are notified about all new videos I upload to this channel. So in this video we are going to discuss uh, some tips which will uh, help you in writing better answers. Your English literature exam is around the corner and uh, I think the first thing that you need to do is be thorough and uh, be prepared fully with your uh, content i mean you have to read all the poems and stories and plays or essays or whatever there is in your syllabus very well okay even if you've not studied all stories and poems at least try to read a summary of those stories and poems which you have skipped and also get some analysis of some major themes and major issues that have been brought up in that story or poem so Let's uh, begin with our video. I'm going to give you a few tips about writing better answers. These tips will uh, surely help you in writing better answers and uh, get better marks. Okay, so let's start. Write to the point in short answer type questions and be concise. So first of all, we get a lot of short answer questions in the examinations and many students write unnecessary things in those answers which do not get them extra any extra marks they only end up wasting their time so first thing that you need to do is when you are answering short answer type questions you have to only answer what is asked in the question paper do not write something very long very unnecessary if you have something of critical importance to say in that answer you can do that but of course please avoid writing something very long very extraneous nobody wants to read something which is not required okay save your time and save your energy and write whatever is required in those answers okay so this is my tip number one read your question twice to understand it well and don't hurry now the second most important thing is that you have to read almost all questions twice okay because if you do not read your questions twice you are going to miss out on what is asked in the question and you may write an irrelevant answer you have to understand the question well okay and, and to understand the question well you have to read the question at least twice so that you do not miss any part of the question you have to keep in mind like if there are two parts in the question there have to be two parts to the answer as well okay so in case you miss out on something it's better to read the question twice and to read it very thoroughly now wh what will you do after reading the question after reading the question you have to take out some time maybe a minute or two to just think about not even a minute just a few seconds to think about what you are going to write in the answer okay you don't have to write a summary all the time you have to think about the most relevant thing that you have studied in the text which is relating to that question okay so if they ask about freedom in you know, dolphins you have to talk about just not the summary of the story but also about how freedom is shown in that poem okay you have to pick out the relevant details it's not always good to write summaries you have to think about what is that good thing that you can write now the fourth thing that i would ask you to do is that for poems which are um, which you think are very important like dover beach like or gift of india you can read up some quotes on the internet you can read some critical quotes or you maybe some other quotes from some other writers and you can use them in your answers to complement the points that you are saying now this is something that will take a little extra work but for some stories or poems you can definitely use these quotes and use them in your long answers not in the short answer questions of course in the long answer questions use those quotes to complement and to supplement what you are saying that is going to give you an edge over the others okay and uh, of course try to design your answers in your own way you have to make sure that you write everything correctly and uh, all the important points are there another thing that i would ask you to do is using two pens okay make your answers you know stand uh, apart from those of the others you can uh, use the black pen for heading and then use blue pen to write everything down and in the long answer questions you can put separate headings when you choose to write you know separate topics in the same answer so you can use a black pen and 
just put important headings and important pointers and rest of the things can be in blue but i am not asking you to decorate your paper at all this is not an art exam please do not decorate i'm just asking you to write you know neatly and a question paper and, and, and i mean an answer sheet that looks kind of neat and clean and that makes your position as a child stronger uh, i mean as an examinee stronger because you're a child as well and uh, then avoid writing summaries and long answer questions see most of the students write summaries and long answer questions and sometimes it is required to write summaries i understand but that is something that you don't have to always do you have to pick out on that particular aspect of that story or that poem which is asked in the question and you have to focus on that not on the summary because writing summaries is not going to tell anybody anything new focus on that aspect of the question that is asked and you know frame your answer according to it that is something that your answer should center around and of course have a proper knowledge of the stories and poems and all their aspects this is something very important if you do not have any knowledge about what is going to be asked then how are you going to write the answer and now also if you get time you can practice some mock tests you can write answers to them and of course get them corrected by your teacher so at least practice two mock tests and write answers and show them to your teacher and ask them how much you are prepared and how such answers would be you know working in their board exams or if you do not have time to practice mock tests you can discuss the paper of prelims with your teacher and ask them what you missed out on if you do not get good marks in your prelims or pre prelims you have to ask your teacher what you can uh, do to improve your answers and why have you got less marks okay and the last step is of course to relax because it's just a literature exam or a language exam or whatever so you don't need to worry too much don't worry just write whatever you want to write and just enjoy yourself thank you so much guys for watching this video and i hope you liked it i'll make the videos of the remaining three stories very soon and also a video just before the day of your exams please comment the day of your exam again i forgot in the dates okay thank you so much thanks for watching and bye bye